Hey guys, uh, Simon here, owner of SM Designs, with a super short video, a uh, sub three minutes on how to repair Autoborn Sealer. Uh, I'm putting on a fairly wet coat here, really, for the purpose of this video. A little bit of a one coat wonder here. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to mark with my thumb here, sort of replicating maybe if you were carrying a panel and your sleeve caught it a little bit. And just to make matters a hell of a lot worse, I'm going to come in here with a screwdriver and, uh, well, basically vandalize this panel. So you can see we're way beyond a little bit of dirt here, okay? This is still an easy repair. The key is to let it dry. It is so important that you let it dry. I've let this sit for about a good solid hour and a half, two hours to completely cure. And I'm going to come in there and dry sand. I'm using around 400, you could drop the 320 sandpaper here. But if it's not cured, if the paint's not dry, you're actually going to amplify it. You're going to make it slightly worse. So please, please, please make sure it's dry. You can see it's quite powdery there. So it's not really peeling back on itself at all, and that's super important for a good repair. So I'm just coming in and uh, sanding the offending area, just making sure I get everything. I don't really care what it looks like, I just need it to be nice and smooth. So I'm just taking it right back here. I would only recommend dry sanding, never wet sanding, but if you're just denibbing a small area, you can use a little bit of pre-cleaner to stop your paper from clogging. I would do that on occasion as if I'm doing, say, little denibs or things like that. It's fine to use a little bit of panel wipe, but in general, you want to really dry sand, okay? So that's it. It doesn't look pretty, but the main thing is it's smooth. That's all that matters, that I've got the whole area completely sanded smooth. And that's it. I'm ready to come in now. Again, with the Autoborn Sealer, and you can see the sheer coverage is going to do this in one coat. But you notice I'm only going to spray the offending area. Don't repaint the whole panel. It's only work on the area that has been damaged. Keep the repair as local as possible. And that's pretty much it. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to come in with uh, one or two super light coats of Sparkle and Toxic Green over the top of that. And that's really just to let you guys see the interaction between the, uh, the base coat and the sealer. And you can clearly see here that there are absolutely no swirls. I'm not being funny. I've actually forgot by the time I brought it out of the oven, I wasn't even sure which part of the panel I actually repaired. But you can see there, guys, there's no uh, swirls, no scores whatsoever. So make sure it's dry. Keep it local, okay? I'm Simon Murray, thanks for watching.